Right, hello there. Yeah, not often I'll do this, but here we go. Uh, now today, being a bank holiday weekend, we were out in the garden centre and I found something that I really didn't expect to find from the uh, the gaming arena. Uh, so I was I bought it on a bit of a punt. It's a it's an old battered box. We were going to have a look in it and see what's in there. I've not had a proper look in here for, yet, but we'll see if it was money well spent or not. Okay, so here it goes. So we have a box that says Warhammer on it. Now, I believe this is a early 2000s box set. So got humans and orcs on there. Uh, came with a rather tatty copy of the uh, rule book, which I'm sure many of you will recognize. But the most interesting thing for me in here at the moment is to see what plastic miniatures we've got. I mean, not that I play much Warhammer nowadays, it would probably, if anything, if there's anything of interest in there, it would probably be used for uh, Mantic's Vanguard, so the Kings of War Vanguard game. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, we'll, we'll pull the lid off and have a look see what we've got in here. Okay. Instructions. Okay, so it looks like initially we've got bits of sprue and a lot of miniatures that have been made up already. We have some instructions for... For a chariot, which looks rather cool. Hopefully that's in there. We'll find out in a minute. So going through this lot. Uh, okay, we've got some sort of... So doors and windows. So some terrain to be made out of this. Uh, some range rulers. May or may not be useful. I don't know. We'll see. Then lots of bits of sprue. Got some shields on there. I can see some orcs already, so I'm not going to them immediately, but shield and sprue. Uh, okay, first big piece to find is what's left of an orc chariot. So that'd be pretty cool for conversion. Uh, put that together, repaint it, and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Next we have Orc Archer, fairly standard, just been primed. That's just one Orc. Another, half decent condition. Uh, human Rifleman. Uh, another Orc Archer. More Orcs. Let's plough through these as quickly as we can, because otherwise it's going to get boring. Because in this set, hawks are humans. Uh, so that's a boar, so that would probably uh, be drawing the chariot over here. So just put that over there for a minute. Keep ploughing through, lots of hawks. Humans, basically painted. Uh, probably a better job than I would do, actually. So that's good, we'll probably stick with that. And update that paint scheme slightly. Skipping through. Uh, flag and another shield. Uh, poorly primed orc, but that's not a problem. More humans. Ha. Again, probably painted to a better standard than I would usually do, but that's a, that's a nice little miniature. Ah, a bit squashed here. So, not a problem with your base, that'll be fine. Another pup, primed orc. More shields. More humans. Let's keep going through these. Yeah, some of them need reseating on the bases a bit. A little bit of work, not too much so. Quite a nice little find so far, I think. Now, them two don't want to uh, be leaving each other, but that looks like that's a chariot rider. 
over there, I'll put them over there for a minute. A bit of sprue, another orc. Now we have we have orc parts on sprue. But without having a good look through that, I don't think that's enough to make a whole orc or is it? We will investigate later. Ah, the other ball, only not built, which is fine. Horse. Uh, more bits on sprue. Not enough full people, I would think. Range templates. Again, not appropriate for what I'm using, but fine. Uh, bits of chariot. I don't know if that goes with the orc chariot or the other one yet. Another wheel, maybe a cannon wheel, because I think I saw a cannon on the box somewhere. That looks like a bit of cannon. Small base is always useful, especially with such state of some of these. Yeah, another ball. So are there four on this chariot? Another wheel. More humans. More orcs. Right, back to the box. So, more based orcs, primed, that's not bad. Part painted humans. Keep going through. Oh. Okay, so we've got some unpunched card scenery, so presumably that goes with the, uh, the plastic sprue that we saw a minute ago. Which is rather nice. Yeah. Oh, we've got body of a cannon. Uh, unbased orc, that's fine. Standard. So yeah, doesn't look like too bad a buy for, for what I paid for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a quick recap, just have a quick shovel through, see what exactly what we have got and what we haven't. And then I'll make the final verdict. Okay, so all in all, this is what we should have had in the box. And aside from a few little bits, so we've got the books there, it's rather tatty, but I'm not that bothered. But what we do have, by way of miniatures, we've got about 16 orcs, 16 orc archers, and a load of human spearmen and riflemen. Uh, we have the standard bearer. We have, I think, possibly most of the bits of a cannon, but I'm gonna have to try and assemble that further. Then we have the uh, we have the chariot and boars to go with. So yeah. So aside from missing a few little pieces for the miniatures alone, I think this was worthwhile exercise. So there you go, let me know what you think. Was it worth it?